I think as a nation sometimes we think we're inferior to a lot of other uh, bigger countries but the reality is I always believed that we were actually as good as anybody else. Since joining Heaton's in 1986, John O'Neill has developed a homegrown department store to rival any international one. The store provides a full range of ladies, men's and children's clothing, homewares, soft furnishings and in the last three years have introduced a home entertainment department. Heaton's have a very strong value for money offering right across the board through clothing, footwear, homewares, home textiles. In addition to that we also have access to a number of brands through our Sports World Connection and in some of our big new stores we would actually have a complete sports floor as well. I've been involved in retail I suppose since the age of 14 having part-time paper runs, a Saturday boy in, in supermarkets in Northern Ireland and really from day one I've had a serious interest in retail. When I joined the company in 1986 it was a very tough retail environment. Heaton's had 11 stores which we cut back to uh, 8 stores at one stage as we were repositioning the brand. We have now progressed up to having 58 stores right across the island of Ireland. In 1986, we did just over 200 people worked for us. Today, we've got 1,500 people and growing. The team have really, really worked hard for a number of years. And at the start, we were a small retailer. A lot of their friends worked for bigger retailers. We were the, the minnows. And I suppose one of the biggest changes that I saw in our business was the day that I saw our people walking home from work with their uniforms on. For the first five years, they didn't. They, they weren't proud of working for the business. They now are and they've worked really, really hard. And I'm talking from the Saturday girls to the managers to the directors. Everybody has worked really hard. So that's where the pride comes from. I started getting involved with the club because I had a son and at eight years of age they are allowed to play football. So I got involved initially just helping out. And over the last two years, I was asked to be a manager, and with my son's team as well. So I've been involved at doing the manager bit for the last two years. We basically train them once or twice a week, and then we have a match at the weekend, either Saturday or Sunday. You have to bring some of the management skills that you have from the day job, effectively, to it. And, you know, like, like anybody, you have got to talk to them. You can't talk down to them. You've got to work with them. You've got to encourage them. And, uh, you know, just get them to play together as a team. Probably easier to, to do the day job. <laughs>